Take a close look at this play as Russell Westbrook drives into the paint and gets himself a layup. But this isn't your average layup because this layup caused him to get 25,000 points and James Harden also joins him on this very crazy leaderboard. But pay close attention to what happens after he hits the layup. All of their teammates have a smile on their face and so does Russell Westbrook. And that's the point of today's video, showing everyone how Russell Westbrook went from one of the most likable players in the NBA to one of the hated and then right back to a likable player again. And looking at the narrative of how he's a bad player and it doesn't lead to winning basketball. We will be debunking all of this but before we get into today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button if you are new and that subscribe button. Let's get to 1000 likes. So this season, nobody really expected the Clippers to be that great with Harden, especially after they had a very terrible losing streak. But it really set me off how the whole of social media we're just going out there and hating on Harden after he said he's a system player. Nobody really believed in the Clippers. Well, I did because I gave this a whole break and I knew that they were going to make a very crazy change to really shake up this roster. And that's exactly what they did. And this change relied on one player, Russell Westbrook. He requested to come off the bench, which gave them another look to this roster, giving Harden Paul George and Kawhi more room to operate and you may be saying how did this cause Russell Westbrook to play even better coming off the bench and this really revolves around one thing rebounding Russell Westbrook is one of the best players in NBA history when it comes to rebounding and yeah Russell Westbrook is a point guard and out of the active career rebound leaders Russell Westbrook is eighth on that list and ahead of him are players that are so much more taller than him. Look at this. Rudy Gobert, Al Horford, DeAndre Jordan, Drummond, all who are near seven foot players. And coming off the bench, Westbrook has been impacting them on the rebounding side tremendously. And let me break down some film to show you how. This play is a very good representation because the guy that's taking the free throw shoots 66% from the free throw line this season. Mason Plumley. So knowing that there's a high probability that the free throw shooter misses, Westbrook is already trailing and uses his very rapid speed to get into the paint and do a putback dunk at the age of 35, which is crazy to me. But with his older age, this gives him the ability and the experience to know when and when not to trail a play for a putback dunk. That's why he's so good at rebounding. Look at this play for example. Norman Powell drives into the paint attracts two defenders, meaning that one person has the ability to trail and get a rebound because Chet Holmgren's not ready for it. So Westbrook capitalizes and grabs a rebound and a putback dunk. Not only do these putback dunks give your team a sense of rebounding, but it also provides your team with energy. Something that the LA Clippers haven't had in a while. That player that hypes up the crowd with a crazy dunk and that's what Westbrook provides for you. And if you don't believe that he hypes up a crowd, look at this play. Westbrook grabs a steal in a very important playoff game and gets himself a crazy layup. And just listen to the crowd. Russell Westbrook is an electric player. He's very good. But people paint a bad image off coming off the bench. People think that you should always be a starter and being a starter is the best thing in the NBA, but in reality, it really isn't all flowers and roses. Look at Klay Thompson. The guy has been starting for almost a decade now, and for the first time, he comes off the bench. And what did Klay Thompson do? He went out there and scored 35 points the first day he got benched. And although Russ didn't drop 35 points when he came off the bench, he has been impacting the team on the playmaking side of things, but most importantly on the defensive end. And Russell Westbrook had to send the media a message. And this is exactly what he had to say on his defense. Russ, it was something you told me. You talking about defense. Last week you told me. Well, well, explain, let everybody know what that means. First team, man, I've been uh, really locked in defensively or guarding every single night. He wants to be first team all defense. And although that may not happen, the intention is there. But the way he plays defense is very unique. And this is because he likes playing defense behind the player, so he has a better chance of blocking the ball. And let me show you what I mean. On this first play, Russell Westbrook has a 1v1 matchup against Clarkson. So what does Westbrook do? He lets Clarkson easily run by him, 
so that by the time Clarkson is at the rim, Westbrook is there to block the ball away. Westbrook's skill of chasing the defender also makes him a very lethal defender in the transition, and this is a very good example. The Hawks are bringing the ball down in transition, and when Trey Young passes it over to his teammate, Russell Westbrook is right behind him, and while Johnson is decelerating, Westbrook is accelerating so fast to the point that he catches up to Johnson and pokes the ball away. Westbrook's speed is absolutely outmatched. Even this play is similar as Sexton is on the right wing, and Westbrook once again allows him to get by, and while Sexton thinks that he has him beat, he is completely wrong as Westbrook is amazing at moving his feet and ultimately gets another poke and brings the ball down in transition once again. So the main thing we can focus on here is that if you are willing to make your defender get by you, you're going to have to have the skill of moving your feet and the speed required to go and chase your defender for the block or the steal, and that's exactly what Westbrook is good at, and that's his defensive identity. And when Westbrook is playing this defense with the Clippers, it gives their bench unit a increase in pace as you're getting a bunch of steals and you push the ball forward for transition buckets. So we know that Westbrook is a very solid defender, but he has another identity that he's been known for. That MVP Russell Westbrook that runs at the rim and dunks the ball home. And I'm going to tell you guys, that old OKC Thunder Russell Westbrook is still in the back of the minds of a lot of players, causing Westbrook to have a lot of gravity in the paint area, which affects his playmaking game. The duel between him and Kawhi has been working out so well as Westbrook just drives into the paint and kicks the ball out for Kawhi. And let me show you some examples. On this play, Westbrook is attacking from the wing, bumps his defender, and does a spin into the paint. This attracts two defenders and pay close attention. Kawhi is wide open and the corner man isn't even on him. Why is this? This is because of Russell Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook kicks the ball into the corner for a wide open three-pointer. But no, it doesn't end there. Westbrook does another very similar play here as he does a pump fake to get his defender to jump and once again penetrates the paint to attract two defenders and Kawhi notices this and cuts and Westbrook finds him for another insane dunk. This is the new Russell Westbrook. Whether you like it or not, some people are going to have to learn to accept it. A player can't always go out there and average a triple-double while winning a championship. You're going to have to sacrifice, and sacrifice has been the main point of Russell Westbrook's season. He wants to go out there and win a championship, and the way he's playing is very different from when he was playing with the Thunder. He's playing the right way alongside players that complement him, and in the Lakers, this wasn't happening whatsoever, leading to all the hate, which was completely undeserved. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit the like button, as one like is one Russell Westbrook fan, which, uh, let's see how many there are. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, we're almost at 15,000 subs, which is absolutely crazy. Well, thank you guys so much, I'll catch you guys in the next video.